Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. In this video we are going to solve this really interesting algebra problem. We have 2 to the a plus 4 to the b plus a to the c equal to 656. We have three variables a, b and c and we need to find of course in natural number a, b and c. How can you solve it? On the first side this question is real hard but take a look closely. 2, 4, 8. It's really good because we can easily write it as this one as 2 to the a plus this 4 can be written as as 2 square, of course, 2 square to the power b and plus 2 cube because 2 cube equal to a to the power c equal to 656. So I hope you understand this step. We just write it in in another way using our, our 2. And moreover, we can easily use our rule because if we have power to the power with parentheses, we need to multiply it. So as a result, we'll have 2 to the a plus 2 to the power 2b and plus 2 to the power 3c equal to 6, 5, 6. And right now I suggest you to use the substitution. It will be good for us to use this substitution. So for example, 2 to the m plus 2 to the p and plus 2 to the q equal to 6, 5, 6. So I just use a, a substitution. So a equal to m, b equal to p and c equal to q. So I use this substitution. It will be a, a little bit easier to work with this. So right now I suggest you to factor right here. For example, let's factor right here 2 to the power m. If we factor 2 to the power m, we will have in parentheses. From here we will have 1 plus 2 to the power p minus m and plus 2 to the power q minus m. So I hope you understand this step equal to 6, 5, 6. And right now, as you can see, we have a product of two numbers. I want to say like, like that, like two numbers. So the first number 2 to the m and the second number parentheses. But moreover, 6, 5, 6, 656 is really good because we can easily write it in another way. Let's write it 6, 5, 6. If we divide this number by 2, we will have 3 to 8, dividing by 2, 1, 6, 4, Dividing by 2, 82, and dividing by 2, we'll have 41. So as you can see, we can easily write this 656. So I write it using my, my red pen. So let's write this number as 2 to the fourth and times 41. So this number can be written like that. We just we just proved it. And let's write our our left our left side. So 2 to the m and this parentheses 1 plus 2 to the power p minus m and plus 2 to the power q minus m equal to. So as you can see we just write it in in this way but if you look closely we have the situation like that we have 2 to the m right here so 2 to the thumb power and 2 to the power 4 right here. So nothing hard to say that 2 to the m is our this case 2 to the power 4 and this parentheses equal to 41. It will be a little bit later, but right now we have that our m is equal to 4. So m equal to 4. m equal to 4. Because right here m 2 to the power m equal to 2 to the 4. This is our m and this is our 4 right here. I write it using our black pen. So I hope you understand this step. Let's go next. We will have this this equation, so this parentheses equal to 41. So 1 plus 2 to the power p minus m plus 2 to the power q minus m equal to 41. Or moreover, we can easily bring this one because this is a constant and as a result we'll have on the right hand side we'll have 40. So 2 to the power p minus m plus 2 to the power q minus m equal to equal to 40. So let's work with this equal to equal to 40. So what we're going to do next? I suggest you to factor out from here 2 to the power p minus m. If you factor from here 2 to the power p minus m, we will have with this problem we will have 1 and of course plus 2 to the power from this power we need to subtract this one. So 2 to the power q minus m minus p minus m equal to equal to 40. So as you can see right now we have 40 right here on the left hand side. Let's express this 40 using power of 2 right here. 
So we have 40. If we divide this 40 by 2, we will have 20. If we divide by 2, we will have 10. So we can easily divide it by 2. We will have we will have 5. So this 40 can be written as can be written as 2 cube times 5. 2 cube times 5. And I hope you see right now that we have 2 to the thumb power. So we don't know this power right here. And we have 2 cube on the right hand side. So this 2 to the power p minus m will be equal to 2 cube. So from here we can write that p minus m equal to equal to 3. We will have p minus m equal to equal to 3. So p minus m equal to equal to 3. Because right now we have on the left hand side this number will be even number because 2 doesn't matter to, to what power, we'll have even number. So this is even, even number. And this one is odd number, because 2 to the power will be even number. But, but if we add to right here, if we add 1, we'll have odd number. So we hope you understand this step by, by because what 2 to the power p minus m will be equal to 2 cube, not to the 5. Because 2 cube is even, I write it right here, is even number, and 5 is odd number. So one and only case that this, this works is when 2 to the power p minus m equal to 2 cube, where from here p minus m will be 3, m equal to 4, so we can easily find our, our p. So p minus m equal to 3, p minus 4 equal to 3, and from here p equal to, equal to 7. So as you can see, we find our, our second variable, find our second variable. So m equal to 4, p equal to 7, and the last equation with this one. So 1 plus this power equal to 5. So odd number equal to odd number. So we will have 1 plus 2 to the power. If we work with this one, we will have the next. We will have q minus, q minus p. So q minus p. q minus p equal to equal to 5. And if you work with this a little bit, if you bring this one on the right hand side, we will have that 2 to the power q minus p equal to equal to 4. And from here q minus p, this is a classic case, q minus p equal to 2. And we can easily find our, our q because we know p that we will have q equal to 2 plus 7, which is equal to which is equal to 9. So as you can see right now we find all all values of P, Q and M. So I, I, I write it in in red red brackets. So Q equal to 9. So we have all, all of these all of these variables. And right now I'm gonna write this problem that you have in the beginning. So right I write right here 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power 2b and plus 2 to the power 3c equal to 656 and be, be, be on the bottom of this I write 2 to the m plus 2 to the p and plus 2 to the q equal to 656. Of course m is less than greater than p and p is greater than less than or equal to q. So why I write this? Because we find our natural natural number roots. But right here we have a, b, c, we need to find it. But m equal to, we find m equal to 4, p equal to 7, and q equal to, equal to 9. But we need to find a, 2b, and 3c. So one and only way, I write it right here, so a equal to, one and only way that a will be integer is when a equal to p because if a equal to p, we will have a equal to 7. But when 7 equal, for example, to m, a 7 equal to 2b, we will have b equal to 7 half, which is not good, and 3c equal to 7, we will have 7 equal to uh, c equal to 7 third. So one and only case, a equal to 7. So I hope you understand this step, because we find our natural number roots, and right here, a equal to 7. We still have two, two numbers, so 9 and 2. Which one it will be equal to 2 to 4 and which one will be equal to 9? We have 2b and 3c. I hope you understand that 2b will be equal to 4 because from here b will be equal to 2. But when 
4 will be equal to 3c we don't have like c will be not like a natural number and the last step we have 9 q equal to 9 so q equal to 3c 9 equal to 3c and from here c equal to equal to 3 and this is our one and only root in natural natural number so let's let's check it maybe we made a mistake right here so let's check this root we will have 2 to the power a a equal to 7 so 2 to the 7th power plus 4 square and plus 8 cube it will be equal to 2 to the 7th power we all know 1 to 8 plus 16 and plus 512 it will be equal to if we add this we will have 6 5 6 which is good for us so we find our roots so if you still have any question write your question in comment i hope you understand this explanation i hope you understand why a equal to 7 but not a equal to to 9 half or 9 third because we want to find a natural number root and this is one only case where we will have natural number root if you still have any question write a question in comment it will be really instant to read it and thank you so much for watching have a great day